Yo, what is good, Rice Ball Gang? Today, we do have some more Bleach. And as always, I am joined with... The one and only light version of Hasten. <laughs> Great value, Hasten. <laughs> Dude, that's so hook, bro. Um, everybody everybody uh, stays flaming my boy Boda, man. Uh, he needs more love. But anyway, today we do have some more bleach. And last time, the Espada attacked. But uh, the start between the rematch between Ichigo versus Grim Jow is about to begin. And Ichigo can only do his hollow mask for 11 seconds. But I feel like this is an appetizer to what is about to come because we know there's going to be a big war. So before we do get into it, if you guys are new to the channel and you do enjoy, make sure you drop a like and subscribe. Become a part of the Rice Ball Gang today. Check out my boy, Big Body Boda in the description down below. Join the Discord. Join the Discord if you want an exclusive toe pick this time. But anyway, let's just get right into it. <laughs> Okay, so here we go. Dude, this hollow mask looks so badass. Oh? 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 Dude, he better make these 11 seconds count, bro. Oh? Oh, he's pushing him back? Oh? Ooh. Oh, he's too Gaia. I don't think that's going to stop Yami, though. Damn. Oh no, James Charles. <laughs> Holy shit. It is James Charles versus Jeffree Star. Dude, I was that's so messed up, bro. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh. Four against one? Um, oh, it's a pink bomb or Zompakto. I wonder what his is going to look like. Oh. Come on, Itsugaya. Oh, no. Oh, oh, what the hell? Oh, my God. Talk, talk about an extendo. What the hell? So man's got tentacles. Oh god. Dude, so he can attack from different angles. So he literally could fight them all at the same time, like literally. Dude, Ikaku might have to go Bonkai, bruh. Oh shit, too. Well, I guess if he's fighting all of them, Yami can actually go after Urahara now. And then we, we still don't know where Ilokura is heading. Oh, yeah, that is facts. We we don't... We haven't seen Ulkiora yet. Bro, man's tatted up. <laughs> yeah, bro, you, you know it's serious, too, when this man Urahara get serious because usually this man's like goofing off and shit oh, oh my god oh my god <laughs> so yeah ichigo definitely used his time wisely oh well i guess he, he still got the mask <laughs> he's been training fool <laughs> another one <laughs> oh no <laughs> wait so we hit him from the front and the back. <laughs> Ooh, Bro, let's go Ichigo. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I don't know if Ichigo can take that. Mm. Oh, oh, what? Oh, shit. So, yeah. I definitely take back what I said uh, last episode because Ichigo is keeping up with this man right now. Oh. Oh. Oh, no. 
Oh no. Never mind. I spoke too soon. Oh dude, that was the worst time. That shit could have happened, bro. Oh no. Ooh. Fuck dude, now it's gonna be a repeat of last time. Mm. Bro, I, I think I think if Ichigo could have kept his mask longer, he he probably would have had a good chance, bro, but you also got to take into consideration that Grimjo never released his Zanpakuto. Yeah, that is true. Yeah, Grimjo also didn't release his Zanpakuto. So the the only thing I'm thinking right now that Ichigo is going to get saved is if Urahara comes. Dead ass. Oh my god, he's twirling that shit. <laughs> oh no, big titties. Oh no, James Charles. Oh, oh god. Oh, don't you lay a hand. Bro, he better not fondle those titties, bro. Bro. Oh my god. Someone step in. Oh. Oh. Is that... Is that Urahara? <laughs> bro, let's go, bro. <laughs> bro, I I love that man's serious look, bro. I'm sorry, bro. Like I I know Orihime, you know, wants to do her thing, bro, but She's gonna fucking get clapped, bro, at this point. Oh? Oh, oh, other Soul Reapers are going. Oh my god. Oh no. Is that Ulkiora? Oh no! It, was that his job to get Orihime? Oh no. Oh my god, bro. Bro, and the fact that he can just go in there so easily. Um, he wonder wise went full fucking crackhead mode. Dude, I'm sorry. These soul reapers are going to get clapped. Like Orihime is getting boomed. Oh my God. Okay. This, I just thought of something, right? Because, like, obviously, Orihime's power is still such a big mystery. What if the time reversal isn't just for, like, healing? It can be for use for other things. So what if Aizen wants her power to time reverse the the Hyo, Hyogoku and get it back early? Or, like, to reverse it to its original state? Okay, well, there's a bunch of points that you'd have to think about, right? First one is, if that's so, why didn't he do it sooner? That is true. But at the same time, he probably didn't know about her, her power. Because I think he had realized about her power after she saw, like, what uh, Ulkiora and Yami saw. But it, hit, it had been a month since then. Oh, that he is true. He couldn't have set it off later. Like, like even a week later. Okay, I get that. But a month later, 50% of the wake-up time for the Hogyoku has already passed. And not only that, he's already able to push out maximum power because he has captain level of spiritual pressure. That, yeah, that is true. But I just thought it was something, like, kind of cool, like, thinking about because it is, like, time reversal shit and... <laughs> Dog, you ain't gonna be able to take him on. Y yeah. Oh, oh my god. He my took off Lord. his arm. Or he may. Oh, oh no. Um, I'm sorry. He is not. He is not going to let you heal that man and let alone let that <laughs> other dude run away. Oh, fuck. Oh, yikes. Ooh, that theme. Um. Mm. Oh shit! So he, so I guess he's gonna call it off if she goes with him. Mm.
Holy shit. That episode blew by. So yeah, Aizen's true thing for this attack was for Orihime. Oh my god, dude. And they're not going to notice that she's she's going to be gone for a little bit. It's going to take some time before they notice. And the fact that Orihime is technically like almost like a hostage now. It is going to force Ichigo and them to go to Aizen. Which also too, if Aizen does kind of have her at his place like they're not gonna have enough men to go rescue orihime and defend the human world or ichigo's town like it is going to disperse the soul society's forces even more because like up until this point like they need everything they can get to protect ichigo's town but the fact that orihime is now a hostage like i like it is going to probably cause some like internal conflict because you know damn well ichigo is gonna want to go go save her ass right away but then also too if aizen does attack the human world like bro it's just gonna be a big ass cluster fuck dog even if we suppose that hypothetically right mm -hmm. um that hypothetically they don't attack like the ichigo goes to get back uh, like Ichigo and the Soul Society and like that whole just like group goes to attack Aizen. We just saw four basically lieutenant level fighters have a problem with one singular Espada. There's yeah. 10 of those guys. Yeah. And Aizen could just make more whenever he wants to. He literally has a disposable army. Kind He's of. also got endless hollows wherever he is. It's like, wait, wait, what can I compare this to? You know, like the, 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 uh, it's like the level one like gangster versus like the level hundred mafia boss or whatever. <laughs> it's like that, bro. Yeah, dog. The Soul Society just keeps getting like fucked up the ass even more. Like Aizen is just like way ahead. He's way ahead, bro. But I do feel like Orihime's power isn't for like the Hyo Goku or whatever. It's definitely for I think it has something to do with the time reversal. If he wants the power that means there's he's planning something bad with it yeah that we, we don't want him to have <laughs> yeah yeah we don't, yeah anyway guys this is going to wrap up today's bleach reaction if you guys did enjoy make sure you drop a like and subscribe check out my boy boda his link will be in the description down below but anyway i'll see you guys later peace <laughs>